And it's a wonderful feeling to have, to find in any orchestra in Europe now, some members of the Mahler Orchestra anywhere in the world. It's a Mahler family and the great thing is, as soon as you know you were part of this group, it's like, it feels like the same family. And of course then, when I arrived uh, now with, with this wonderful orchestra, which is created uh, from music musicians from, you know, a lot of ex-people of the Mahler Orchestra, um, I was really wondering if the spirit would be there, and after two, two measures, I could hear it. I think uh, since the orchestra came to present uh, itself for the first time, um, everybody could notice that uh, there is an excellent level of every musician and uh, so uh, people got very quickly very interested in uh, knowing a bit more about uh, the musicians, about uh, the different artists and uh, that created an atmosphere and uh, uh, a sort of spirit uh, which that we were not able to uh, um, uh, rely on before. For me, it would be a dream already if, we, if the European Philharmonic of Switzerland could keep this residency here at the Septon Musical in Montreux. I think this is our most important promoter, our first promoter. And uh, a project orchestra like the European Philharmonic of Switzerland needs uh, a residence and a basis where we can uh, gather and where we can work on our identity and, and develop ourselves. We started uh, uh, with uh, um, different conductors. Now we are at, uh, in a period where we have uh, the third one. Uh, and this is also very interesting for an audience to see developing an orchestra with a different hand uh, of, a, of a conductor. So uh, uh, I think uh, it's, uh, if I may use the term, it's a sort of win-win situation for the audience, for us as the, uh, the, the responsibles for the festival, and uh, I think certainly for the musicians as well. I was very impressed the jump bef between the first and the second rehearsal. It's a um, big challenge and another way of work. I mean, I was now two weeks with the GMGO and you need a lot of time, you need a lot of patience to explain. Here with the European Philharmonic of Switzerland, you, must, you can rehearse fast, quick, um, in a lot of details, but at the same time, big lines, and they understand quick, it changes immediately. So that's very, very pleasant. I'm sure for some conductors or for some musician it's not pleasant because sometimes they want and they need more time to get in but but here it's like like driving a Ferrari like really very fast until the concert so it's it's very 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 I'm very impressed about the the, the level We started, I think, three years ago with this project and uh, it's mostly the same people and the interesting thing about it is that we're all um, around the same age and everybody is developing their lives outside of this orchestra and everybody returns always with the same idea, which is uh, very interesting to see and then to experience again every project that we do. I think it's, it's a great experience and great opportunity to be here in this also nice landscape, it's incredible and nice weather also and with these people, some people I didn't see for some years and then we meet again and make music and they are now all in other international orchestras and we meet again and have this mana feeling and this enthusiasm, it's, I think it's great.
I remember when, uh, when I first got a message from you uh, telling me about the orchestra and I remember it sounded really exciting and I was really happy. Because uh, I knew a lot about it from friends and I always heard about how special it was. And then I came here and uh, it felt like I was coming into a family because so many people knew each other and they were all so happy to meet again and to play together again than when we started working back then. And the same thing is happening now. Avi Chulta is, is a, such a fine leader and there's always something to listen to and there's always more. Uh, you can always get a bit near to the idea that he's presenting. It's also very interesting how this works together with Lorenzo. It's very interesting that I can't feel that that's a soloist from this orchestra, that's a soloist from this orchestra. They come here as a member of the European Philharmonic of Switzerland. That's it. And that's good because you could have someone who is a soloist in a famous orchestra and who wants a bit to, because some of them are not professional maybe or they don't have a position still. But here it's just, okay, we are this group today of musician and we make music together. As soon as I played now this Bruch Concerto, I could recognize this feeling of sound that, which was the, clearly the spirit of the orchestra. And um, it's something you have in you and when you get together with these people who have played in, in the same orchestra, then you, you have it immediately. Um, it's also something that we all carry in ourselves and as a soloist, as chamber musician, we have this sound in the background that we, we rem remember this sound and it, it did help me a lot in my, my musical life because I, I know it is possible to have this sound. So lucky, lucky me to be able to find it tonight. When I go to the GMGO, I'm also from their generation, in a way. I'm a bit older, but I'm almost the same generation. And I have much more experience as a musician than them. But here, it's, most of them have more experience than me. But, so for me, it's exactly when I go to a professional orchestra. But the, the, the positive thing is that they just can't wait to play with each other. And the first target, the first point is that they come and they pay their travel to come here. This is the first sign that, okay, they are extraordinary people, not only musicians, they are just for the music here. And that's, I mean, you, you, can, you can see that it's a luxury, you have just the best of the best. It's, phew.